Hello everyone and welcome back to the, the series where I show you how to make a TU8 mods menu for MW2. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial today on how to customise DVARs and have custom DVARs and how you can edit them from in-game inside the mod menu. Uh, this I just want to show you because this is quite a good thing to do and have in your menu and I was suggested it by someone so I might as well cover it. Uh, I'm getting these out quick now because I'm going back to school tomorrow and I might not be able to get these episodes out as quick as I am doing it now so I want to leave you with quite a bit of information before I do go back. Uh, so basically what this is is inside the menu when you select the option it will bring up like the message like if you were send a message over Xbox it will bring up that screen with the keyboard it will bring up that and then you can edit a diva via that keyboard and uh, how it works is basically in the void and a void is basically you call it something all your stuff's inside it and you use this to call it later on in the menu so all this code here creates the actual uh, keyboard itself all you really want to come in and change is uh, what it will say what it will say on on the keyboard and then you're going to let it know the diva what, what it's going to be changing and print out a line uh, like what you set it to uh, this is custom pro mod uh, I've got custom knockback uh, custom map size like all the ones I've made for my menu, this is my old source. See, so yeah, I'll show you this. Let's see, you like custom clan tags. Uh, and it's just the DVAR here, and the percent %S is what it's getting, what the input it's getting from the, uh, the keyboard. And it's when it's set in the text on the screen, it uses the percent %S again to get the option what you selected and print it. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll have a download to this. I won't put all of them in here, but I'll just put like a few, like custom gamer tag or something. So if you was to edit this yourself, you'll get the diva and you'll stick it in uh, here, like the S clan name. And instead of putting the actual the number what the diva is set to, you'd put percent S. And then your line, whatever. And then up here you'll have your options. See what I've got. I've put clan tag editor and it's called... Uh, I've just put the text enter a clan tag. That is simple as that. Right, so what you'll do is you'll copy all this. you would come in your menu and you can literally just put it here. And what you'll do is in one of your sub menus which you want it to be in, I'll put it in the one that I have been editing. Uh, I'll call it edit. Uh, I think it was pro mod. No clan tag, I think. And you want to come down into your options where I set it to. You can delete this because the actual void itself prints the line. And all you want to do is, uh, you look what you called it, I'll just go in a notepad instead of scrolling up. Custom clan tag, right, that was it. So literally, all you do here is type custom clan tag, do that, and that's it. That, so now when you press the option, it will call this function, and then it will basically look look up here for this. And it will do this. That's how a void works. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial. Uh, be sure to go in the description and download the text file. We'll provide. I'll provide quite a few of these customs. Also, you can use your imagination and uh, make whatever you want out of this, like your own custom things. This is what I did with some of the options you'd see in my menus, which you haven't seen in others. So yeah. If you did like it, please be sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in part 6.